Okay, cool. All right, guys, over here, you can see we're working at night again. This is the potatoes in a bag, the grow bag. You can get your potatoes from us at a way lower rate than you're ever gonna get them from a retailer. So we plant them for you, and then all you need to do is add grow mass to them, like every week, check on your potatoes, add some grow mass, and then lift your potato up like. So you'll lift the bag like this, and you just throw a little bit more grow mass in, and what you'll end up having is a full bag of potatoes. See? Just imagine. I mean, you can go make it yourself, or you can just buy it from us. Check out the link over here, and, you, and we'll make one and send one out to you. But when, when you're packing them, right? You're gonna rotate it down like this. Show you shooting yeah. here. You're gonna rotate it down like this. And what's the next step from there? Next step from there is to to put your grow mass right on the top of this. So you'll pour it in. Where's our grow mass? Let me go get some. Just a moment, just stay there. Right, there's some grow mass. Now you'll see there are a couple of these things. These are avocado pips. And they're really cool and fun for kids and, and for adults to just you know grow their own plant. But what we do is we dry root them for you. We like you'll see these have got a couple of scratches and whatnot. We probably won't use that. In fact, we'll just throw that one down there and let it mulch. If it catches well, we'll watch it and monitor it, but we we really watch for for any rot at all. So get rid of those two. But how well did grow mass preserve the other avocado pips? So mostly it preserves it pretty darn well. I mean, this is a couple of months now and these guys are pretty healthy. You know, a couple of the times that when we collected, people were cutting into the, into the avocado. So that made it a little bit difficult. You know, you're getting, you're getting damaged to, which is, to what is basically a heart. Let me show you here. That's a heart. Left side, right side, left ventricle, right ventricle. Aortas and then pumps out. Left side of the body, so it's like this. How cool is that? So your blood pumps this way around your body and it comes up and it's oxygenated this way. And it comes up this side, it's semi-oxygenated, but it's pretty much deoxygenated. It comes through back to the heart, kicks it through and it cycles. Now, if you work healthy and you eat healthy, your blood's going to be strong. You're going to be moving like crazy. You'll see how little I have to eat, but when I do sit down and eat, oh, I eat a lot. And it just it's just a case of, of determining where you want to be and what you want to have done for the day and work at that. Just keep on pushing until it's time to go, like until your jobs are done. And don't be shy, like give yourself a lot of jobs. Today, we moved an entire growth space into two different new locations. Simple as that. And we are here. We're busy watering our plants, which I don't think we've done just yet. So we might need to get out there and do that. And we're just teaching you some cool things about potatoes. So potatoes will be there. I'm going to cover the potatoes up, come right around here. Shoot like this. There we go. Lovely. So these guys are not going to, they, they, they should be crusted over now. Oh wait, these ones weren't even trimmed. These ones are fine actually. You just cover that. And your grow mass is going to protect it. Right, like this is the basic aspects that make up grow mass, and you've got cocoa peat over here. This is very nice and very healthy. Okay, I'm going to. I'm actually going to leave it at that. I'm going to do a couple more, and uh, maybe I can tell you this one. That this one's filled as well. Yeah, we like to do our little starters like this. We quarter them, let them dry out and look at what happens. Incredible. So we're going to close it up, but first let's put some grow mass in there. Yeah. It's so amazing that you can use potato skins to, to grow. Just the skins themselves. Yes. It's incredible.
I'm thinking we let the, the sprout start to come. So it's kind of like hydroponically grown. Yeah. Let's close that. But I mean, it, the sprouts come out a lot in the ground. That's when it's moist. Oh, we saw those. Or not, didn't you get a chance? No, I saw the ones outside. Yeah. Let me... Let's, let's turn off for now. Unless you want to shoot and then we just do a whole video in the dark. Why not? Can you? Okay. Because I mean, then at least we got light. <laughs> it makes so much sense. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, I need to move this stuff out the way. I actually like to cross plant. I think it's healthy. I don't think that one could just plant one sort of species. We need to create an, an almost perfect natural situation for these plants. When you cover that up, you might want to give that a water tomorrow. But as I as I stand here, you could take this bag and ship it anywhere. Well, nationally. If you try and send this to Australia, they're gonna be like, oh no. We don't take foreign sands. <laughs> so, that is that. <laughs> Okay. I'm just seeing like two handfuls now. Doesn't need to be too heavy. There we go. We're going to fast forward to all of this when we post it onto YouTube. That actually looks like. It's cool, eh? It looks like fire. Uh... It's quite a, like an artisanal skill set, right? Or an artisanal business. Something so artistic and different that you just want to buy it because you, you know, you can't get it anywhere else. Yeah. Like I'm sure there's something that's similar. But who's actually pre-packing it for you? It's like this is a, a potato seedling that all you need to do is just plant throughout your, your fields and you'll get a hell of a lot of potatoes. Guaranteed. Now, if you don't have fields, that's fine, because you can just use this. As I'm filling, right, and as the potato grows, they start to fill up. The little potato spuds take in energy, and they get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter, and then they come out the surface. I then need to come back and throw some more of this in there, and essentially it takes more spuds, and it grows faster and faster, and eventually you've got a big bag full of potatoes. It's cool, it's brilliant, and I'm very excited to show this to the world, actually. Like it's a personal hobby, and I think that anyone would benefit from this. Anyone. Yeah. It's like a lot of people have a lot of useless hobbies. I suppose a hobby's a hobby. A hobby's a hobby. We need hobbies. Hobby's what makes us balance our right? But I feel like if you can make your hobby your business, then you'll be the king of everything in that space. Right? Because it's your hobby and it's your business. That's being obsessive, right? That's balance in the obsessive. Like, it, balance does not mean 50-50, right? <laughs> balance does not ever mean 50-50. <laughs> balance is what makes things balance. Right? Like, don't you think it's fair if you are taking camera shots and, and doing your things and I'm doing graphs, then I must get my 80 and you must get your 20. That's fair, fair enough. Yeah. right? And I feel like that is how it can be until you know how to, how to do all these things. That makes sense. And I appreciate that. That's very cool. Bro. I mean, I like the fact that you can do that. Like it's be, be the O that can, can shoot the camera. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because that means then I can be in camera and do my thing and then we can process it and yeah, make like a celebrity following. <laughs> I should have been getting quite a lot of following and interest. We must do some Instagramming again. We should be writing these instructions down. Because every time I say them, it's like, I say it and then I forget it. Can we not transcribe the audio? <laughs> of course we can. Oh, that was a sneaky bugger. Oh, squeaker. Two squeakies. <laughs> How do you do, DL, sir? <laughs> Some F1. 
Yeah, what was that? Like some beef stew? <laughs> beef stew. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. No, again. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, but this is like a genius. It's so cool. It's actually like the perfect temperature right now. Mm. Don't you think? Oh. Yeah. I feel like, you know when you're in a refreshing swimming pool? That's how I feel right now. That one's done, that one's done, and so is that one, that one, that one's done. They're all done. I like it. Next task done for the day. How many have we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Is that correct? 13. Okay, good. We got more potatoes though. We should have brought bags. Unless we actually just turn the boxes into potato boxes. We can indeed. And they'll just be like densely growing. And when they get to a certain size, we just transplant them into those boxes. Because we, we need to put these around the trees, right? I mean, that could be quite smart. Why don't we put these four, like, you put a tree, right? And you put a box, a box, a box, and a box. You then put wood around it. So it looks aesthetically pleasing. You then finish the wood on the top. So you don't even see the metal box. And then inside, you put your avocados and you put your potatoes. How do you think? What do you rate? I think it's an idea. I think that is what we need to do. Because if we're going to go with plastic, we're going to get a small little square thing around the tree. We want to make like these big spaces where we can actually harvest. Like put a, a box there, box there. And people won't just take one for the tree and make... The tree's so big. The tree's like a nursery area where you could be growing, you know, like shaded plants. Baby avocados. Let's go. Potatoes are going to shade the rest of it. This is cool. Really cool. Okay guys, I don't know exactly what we need to do right now, but I think we're good here. What do you reckon, bro? I'm good here. And then we need to water. But I'm not sure. What do you rate? Should we go have a look? Yeah, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Let's careful over here. Hey. Okay, we got a lot of those, um, what's it called, bro? Acorns. The acorns, they are sprouting. So I think let's chuck them back in and let them start to sprout out. And when they start coming up, then we've got acorns here. But let's start labeling these boxes. Hmm. I think it's a good idea. This can go in there and cover it all up. Do we need to move this though? Yeah. This thing gonna eventually turn to quite off if it's going too long. That could be such a nice African charge, dude. Like one of our web charts. Jagani Pile Baba. We're gonna get a tiny. Jagani Pile. Shagani Pile Baba Shagani Pile Shagani Pile Baba Okay, that was speedy at the end But I reckon we could get there Shagani Pile Shagani Pile Team, make some beats, bro Shagani Pile yeah, I'm thinking. Make some beats and let me see what I can do. Too slow. 
becoming sleepy. So cool, Luma. So cool, Luma, Gashe. So we shall go. Oh, Umkulumo is a zoo. You see, Mara, you call Luma Gangan. We are practice. So enjoy. But today, we're here to play. <laughs> I don't enjoy the rhyming stuff. Let's play. Chill, hop, baby. I'm enjoying this. Put him up, 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 Wanna get that like? Yeah, the, yeah. The Russian. Let's see if we got leg power. Pru, we need to start training. So let's yeah. just do it on video. There's light. Damn. I couldn't even do one of those. Lock in. Oh, nice. Good, eh? Michael, what's his name? Mike Tyson. And he's like, oh, he's fast, eh? Like he, the rest of the guys that were boxing, they're kind of like this. Like, and he was like, yeah. the whole time, like in your face. He's dangerous, bro. That guy. That's a real boxer, that. He said, "Come, I want to bite your ear." Come closer, why are you fighting so far away from me? <laughs> Come. Yes. Let me yeah. taste it, yeah. Wh what? Who was saying who was who was saying all of that about Mark Tyson? I don't want Mark Tyson coming and fucking <laughs> punch me in the spleen. <laughs> I won't survive that. <laughs> that man is too strong. <laughs> that man is a beast. Iron Mike, call him Iron Mike for a reason, right? Yeah, indeed, mm. indeed. Guys, catch you later. I would do my squats, and but it's gonna be all over the compass and the. No, no, no. I just wanna show. Jeez, like, what's all? It's very dusty in here. We should consider wearing masks. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I think we can be caught up for tonight. Yeah.